humanity will face many challenges in future and most important are climate change, scarcity of natural resources and population growth. Here science plays a key role to cope up with all these challenges. We can use science and technology to get sustainable energy, sustainable infrastructure and smart mobility. In this 21st century marks a new era for opportunity for the public and science fraternity both domestically and internationally to collaborate and work together towards the build up of our nation India and for humanity as a whole. And today is 28th February of 2024. The day is remarked as National Science Day to all over the country to mark the discovery of Raman effect by Indian physicist C. V. Raman. This day is celebrated annually to inculcate the scientific temper in the society and to respect the contributions of the scientists. And this year, the theme of National Science Day 2024 is chosen as Indigenous Technologies for Vikshit Bharat. This theme reflects a pivotal role on promoting and advancing Indigenous Technologies to foster the development and progress of India encapsulated by the term Vikshit Bharat, which translates in Developed India. By investing in homegrown technologies and improve the possibilities in the education, healthcare, and clean energy and agriculture. It is a celebration of the human quest for understanding the mysteries of the universe and harnessing the knowledge for the betterment of the humanity. So today, in the spirit of celebrating science, let us witness of some great inventions explained by our Gavanites through PowerPoint presentation. Myself, Shainika Devnath, and today I'm going to address about C.V. Raman on the special occasion of National Science Day. C.V. Raman is one of the most renowned scientists productive by India. His full name is Chandrasekhar Venkat Raman. For his pioneering work of scattering of light, C.V. Raman won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1930. He was born on November 7, 1888 in Tiruchirapalli, Tamil Nadu. The Raman effect was an important discovery in the field of scattering of light. He was the first Indian scientist who was honored with the prestigious Nobel Award in Physics in 1930 for his great discovery. In 1921, Sir C. V. Raman was on a trip to Europe where he noticed the striking blue color of some icebergs. He was inspired and wanted to understand the reason behind the phenomenon. He conducted the experiment with a transparent block of ice and light from a mercury of ice and arc lamp and recorded the spectra through ice and detected what would come to be known as the Raman lights caused by the Raman effect. Now what is Raman effect? It is the change in wavelength of light that occurs when a beam of deflected by molecules when it is transverse a dust free transparent sample of a chemical compound. Raman has been honored with a large number of honorary doctorates and memberships of scientific societies. He was elected a fellow of the Royal Society early in his career. He was died in the year of 1970, 21st November. That's all. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone. My name is Shoham Roy and I am from class 8, section A. Today we are observing National Science Day and I am going to speak some words about Acharya Jagadish Chandra Bose. Acharya Jagadish Chandra Bose was one of the greatest scientists in the world. He was famous for his discovery of plants, life and radio waves. He was born on 13th November 1859 at Maimen in Bangladesh. His father was Bhagwan Chandra Bose who was a deputy magistrate. He completed his primary education at Faridpur and also passed the entrance examination. After that he came to Kolkata and got admitted into Xavier's college. He passed BA from the University of Calcutta. He also obtained a DSc degree from the University of London. He was then appointed as a professor of physics at Presidency College of Kolkata. He carried researches on wireless and plants life. His discovery of radio waves anticipated Margani. Also, he proved that plants have life just like other animals and human beings. He also set up the Bose Institute of Kolkata. His literary genius is no less remarkable. His scientific essays were published in Avikta Jivan. After that, he died on 23rd November 1937. Thank you for listening. I am Ritika Shen from 8D 
and today I am here to say a few words on Chintamani Nagasa Ramchandra Rao. Chintamani Nagasa Ramchandra Rao was born on 30 June 1934 in a Kannada Deshastha Madhav Brahmin family in Bangalore to Hanumanta Nagasa Rao and Nagamba Nagasa Rao. He then returned to IISC in order to establish a solid state and structure of chemis chemistry unit. He was chair of the Scientific Advisory Council to the Prime Minister of India during 1985 to 1989 and from 2005 to 2014. He is one of the world's foremost uh, solid state and materials chemist. He has contributed towards the development of this field over five decades. He was the first to synthesize 123 cupid, that is, the first liquid nitrogen temperature superconductor in 1987 and he was also the first to synthesize the Y-junction carbon nanotubes in the mid of 1990s. His awards include Marlo Medal, Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Prize for Science and Technology, Royal Medal in 2009, Padma Shri in 1974 and Padma Vibhushan in 1985. He was also the recipient of the Bharat Ratna Award in 2014. So, science is a beautiful gift to humanity. We should not distort it. Said by Dr. APJ Abdulkara. National Science Day helps to celebrate, to showcase the indigenous technology for our young scientists to work on it for the development and for the achievement of the scientific technology in India. I think every curious child is a future scientist. Science for today, technology for today. Happy nations.